so we look for extrasolar planets. Now, evidence exists for planets in other nearby stars. The new planets are not observed directly until very recently. One method for looking at them is that their gravitational effects on their parent stars. And the ones that we first started seeing were a surprise because there are huge planets very close to their parent stars. So the idea is that the huge planets formed far from their stars, as the current theory uh, would project, but their orbits subsequently shrank. This migration of planets may be caused by interactions between uh, the forming planets and leftover gas and dust in the disk. Here's the Epsilon Andromeda system shows um, some planets that have very large sizes, like on the order of Jupiter bigger, actually inside the orbit of Venus and Earth, and some but closer than Jupiter is. In fact, if we look at all the first ones we started to see, we see some very large stars that are closer than the Earth is. So do these observed extrasolar systems disprove our model of our solar system? No. We cannot see many systems yet. The systems with large close planets are just the ones that are easiest to find. That doesn't mean they're the most common, just the easiest to see. This is actually an area that there's a lot of work going on currently. Now more recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has observed planets actually in transit by looking at the light intensity of a star. And we see the light intensity of a star, every once in a while we see a dip. Well, this is a planetary system that actually the plane of the planets is pointing right at the Earth. And we can see how fast the planet's moving across the star and how big it is by the duration and the dip and in light intensity from the star. By looking at the spectra, then, we can determine the composition of the atmosphere. Current estimates are that 10 to 20 percent of stars have planets that may be habitable or Earth-like. In other words, they have planets that have the right composition and the right distance from the sun to have liquid water on their surface. Now you can help. There's a website called Zooniverse that has many different uh, science projects that all they need is someone to look at something and make a decision. Do they see something here or there? And one of them is you helping find planets around the stars. If you're interested, Go to the website listed here and take a look at finding planets around stars.